She said she can do a car wheel around. Show us what you're feeling. I can do. What place? That'd be so funny. Yeah. Like, like he walks into the thing. Like, We're watching her. We, we've started. We've started. That's bad. Um, yeah. Can you do a round off? I think so. <laughs> it's okay if you can. Don't injure yourself. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of it. <laughs> that was impressive. That was good. I always practice my walk up, so I need okay. to like walk. Hi, I'm Maddie Jackson, and I will be doing Echo's monologue from Ila Massonary by Lee Blessing, and Miranda's monologue from The Tempest by William Shakespeare. You said you loved me. Okay, you said yes and no. But that means sometimes you love me. Sometimes you do, don't you? And if I work on it hard enough, I can get you to love me more of the time. Most of the time. Uncle Bill hardly remembers you. You know that? I asked him what you were like as a little girl, and he couldn't even say. He remembers Grandma even less. He didn't have one interesting story about her, about Grandma. They don't have a single picture of her either, not even in their minds. To them, she's just a woman who lived a big, embarrassing life. They all think they've saved me just in time. Not just from Grandma, from you, too. So I started wondering if they weren't right. Maybe the best thing would be to forget you two completely, especially you. After all, what did I ever get from the two of you except a good education? You especially, what were you ever to me, except a voice on the phone now and then? And I looked around the new room where I was staying, and it was real nice and blank, the way a thing is before you put any time into it. I thought, I could live a whole new life here. I could invent a whole new me. I could be Barbara if I wanted to, not Echo. I don't mean I'd become like Whitney and Beth. I'm not that crazy but I could be like Robinson Crusoe and adapt myself to a strange and harsh environment. I could live in a kind of desert. I could even flourish like you have. But I kept hearing your voice, that voice on the phone hiding behind spelling words or so energetic sometimes, so wishing. I don't even remember what you said, just the sound of it. A sound that said, I love you and I failed you. I hate that sound. And I will never settle for it because no one failed me. No one ever failed me. Not grandma and not you. I'm your daughter. That's what I choose to be. Someone who loves you. Someone who can make you love me. Nearly all the time. <laughs> Alas now, pray you, Work not so hard. I would the lightning had burnt up those logs that you were enjoying to pile. Pray, set it down and rest you. When this burns, twill weep for having wearied you. My father is hard at study. Pray now, rest yourself. He's safe for these three hours. If you'll sit down, I'll bear your logs the while. Pray, give me that. I'll carry it to the pile. It would become me as well as it does you. And I should do it with much more ease, for my goodwill is to it, and yours it is against. Thank you.